Okay, now this one is also important. So be sure to take some notes here or you can just reference my slides. I have broken this section down into a few subsections because I definitely want to make sure you guys understand the concept and the logic behind this. So honestly, the biggest word of advice, don't be a mediocre average dropshipper who uses FBM Fox or ZDrop and just copy pastes listings from Amazon, eBay without putting any work into it. You just give yourself a way to your buyer that you're drop shipping, that you're kind of a scammer because this is the stereotype that is now happening on marketplace and buyers are smarter than you think they are. Your job is to really put quality over quantity, in my opinion, and just make sure that your buyer doesn't even know that you're drop shipping. So for images, as a result, I would recommend you guys to use non blurry square size or consistent size lifestyle images. Even better if you use Amazon customer reviewed photos or suppliers lifestyle photos and avoid wide background photos. Why is that? Well, because on marketplace, people are used to seeing items without wide backgrounds. That is how the marketplace platform has been. So psychologically, if you can just present um, an item to people in reality, not in a studio quality with a white background, but um, as you can see in two screenshots, these guys are selling a lot of items. And one of the reasons is because they're using a lifestyle photo, which is what the buyers are used to seeing on marketplace. So that's number one. Uh, number two, try to make titles SEO friendly. Mostly you can copy paste them from your supplier or competitor because they already did all the hard SEO work for you. So with that said, you can add a few keywords here and there, move words around to stand out, or you can remove and customize it a little bit, but you know, don't overthink it, just copy paste it and it should be fine. For the price, of course, the lower you can get, the better. What we have seen with Facebook, it tends to display listings that have lower prices closer to the very top. So I suggest you guys to make up for low pricing in higher shipping rates, because essentially there are two ways you can, you know, do pricing for your listing. You can have a higher price with free shipping, or you can have, or you can have lower price with higher shipping rates. So I suggest you guys to do the second strategy and have a very low price and a very high shipping rate. I even saw some drop shippers who price their items at $1 and they would have like $35 for shipping rate, which is insane, but they have scored so many sales most likely because you know their listing is all the way at the top. So it's kind of scammy and kind of sketchy, but it works. So I just suggest you guys to do this middle ground, have a realistic price, just try to do it on a lower end and have a higher shipping rate, that is all. So um, yeah, and in addition to that, it is also a good idea to just make your own profit calculator that includes uh, the 5% Facebook fee, any VA expenses if you have that down the line, and also, um, of course, the cost of goods sold. So keep that one in mind before you list, use your profit calculator, find that good pricing point that you're comfortable with, and that's it. Uh, let's continue to the next slide where we will see additional fields to make a winning listing.